If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Kanye West. Come on, brother. Not Jesus. Not the brother that just had a whole church being accused of sexual harassment. What's going on with our entertainers? What's going on with these rappers? I mean, like, I mean, what? Is this the year for sexual exposure? I mean, like, what's going on with you brothers? Y'all rich enough where y'all can hit a woman hand and say, hey, look, dig this here, baby. You know, um, I want to lay you down, flip you, and flop you, and, and twist, chop, rop you, and, and look, I'm going to pay you this much money. And some women will say, hey, I'm cool with that. Just hit my hand, do what you want to do. We're going to have fun, and then that's over with right come on but these guys right here done lost their mind for some reason right now let's draw off this right here uh according to reports they are putting out there that kanye west executive assistant is accusing him of sexual harassment sexual harassment is unwanted sexual behavior that makes someone feel uncomfortable unsafe or offended it can happen anywhere but it's most common in workplaces and schools. Here's a breakdown. Unwanted. This is key. Sexual harassment is about unwanted attention. Even if someone doesn't mean to cause harm, if their behavior is unwelcome, it can be harassment. Sexual nature. This can include things like sexual comments, jokes, or stories, as well as unwanted physical contact, like touching, groping, or hugging. Creates a hostile environment. Even if it's not physical, sexual harassment can create a work or school environment that feels intimidating or offensive. Mm. I mean, sexual harassment, Kanye? I mean, I can see just harassment, but sexual harassment? Look, we hood educated and not lame related. Let, let's, let's get into this demonstration. Here it is, sexual harassment. We got to understand something about these sexual predators that demonstrate these sexual measures on these women. Now, look, this stuff right here just don't happen overnight. This sexual harassment type stuff is a learned behavior and it's a pattern behavior. What you mean, hood educated? We don't understand what you're talking about. Break it down to us. I'm going to break it down to you. Now, listen. This is not Kanye West's first time sexually harassing someone, I believe. And let me explain to y'all why. Usually when this type of stuff happens, uh, the predator has done it before. And over a period of doing it before, he did it again to this woman. He did it again to that woman. And as he did it, no one told and it emboldened him. It's just like a criminal. When you do your first robbery and get away with it, you like, wow. Man, that worked. I got all this money, all this jewelry. Man, I got all this stuff. Just from pulling out my gun, you get emboldened and then you want to go rob some more. All my robbers know what I'm talking about. All my criminals know what I'm talking about. If you ever stole something, you were scared to death. I don't know. I, I'm scared hard beating and everything. But once you walked out that store with that, pro that product, oh, man. You couldn't wait to go steal again. You draw what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about in this situation. You don't just wake up and sexually, sexually harass somebody. This is a pattern. This is a behavior. And he's been doing this time and time again, which I believe, right? Now, the cold-blooded part about this demonstration that his executive is demonstrating right now, saying that he sexually harassed her, uh, this right here could open the floodgates. Just like Cassie in her lawsuit opened the floodgates for all these sexual harass my uh sexual sex trafficking and all that old type of stuff with P. Diddy. This demonstration right here might open the floodgates. We might start seeing women from everywhere coming out saying that, hey, yeah, you know, he sent me the text. 
He sent me the text. He said this. He said that. Because we got to understand something. If you one of them men that just take a picture of your Buford and then send it to a woman. And hey, look. This, these guys that do that type of stuff, they are serial. <laughs> I'm talking about they take, take a picture of Buford and they just send them out. They don't care. If he did that with this woman, I'm telling y'all. That was not his first time doing that. There's going to be a court. This is what I believe. I'm not saying that this is actual and factual, y'all. These are just my beliefs. And y'all know what a belief is. A belief is something that you believe to be true, but you don't have no evidence to prove that it's true. But you just believe it, right? And just with me just being in the game, just, you know, just the criminal activity and just being hood educated, I know how the criminal mind thinks. Once a criminal get away with something one time, hey, just you embolden him. He's encouraged. He's going to continue to do it. And so I believe that this demonstration right here with Lauren is going to open the floodgates. And we finna start seeing all type of women come out talking about Kanye West done sexually harassed him. But look. It gets colder, right? I'm talking about because it's just not with the pictures and the videos and all that old type of stuff. She's saying that Kanye West was sending her text messages. And then these text messages, I'm talking about Kanye West was getting real explicit. Now, we got to understand some. In her lawsuit, she's saying that he sent her the text messages. What does tell us? Because we hood educated, not lame related. Those text messages that he sent her has now become a part of the evidence in the civil case. Y'all draw what I'm saying? She's not finna be talking about no text messages if she don't get the receipts. And the way that they breaking these demonstrations down... These text messages, I'm talking about verbatim, word for word, tells me. And it should tell y'all that they have the text messages as evidence against Kanye West. Check it out. Hey, man, Kanye West cold with that thing, bro. Y'all hear this man? This man calling his Buford racist. What's wrong with this brother? Now, you know, he's an oxymoronic type of a guy. So I'm talking about just from that language and, and I mean, just from that language and the historical events that Kanye West would just go out and say crazy, weird stuff like that. I'm leaning towards her on this demonstration right here. Like, Kanye, you did demonstrate that measure. I mean, I'm, I'm, this is just, you know, me just, you know, I, hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm just, I'm, my belief, I have a right to my belief. Now, here it is right here. Let's, let's get into who this woman is, this, this personal assistant is. From my understanding, she goes by the name of Lauren. Um, she was a OnlyFans model. What she used to do is she would like take pictures of herself in bikinis and, you know, sexy lingerie and stuff like that. And she was getting paid one million dollars a year just posing, showing her body off. Man, for real? <laughs> okay, all right. Kanye West told her, look, I want you to stop the OnlyFans and I'm going to pay you one million dollars a year because I want you to be godlike. And once he did that, she said, Of course I will do it. He hit her with the meal ticket. She closed down her OnlyFans account and she became his assistant. She's even saying that she worked on some of his uh, music with him on the Donda album and everything. Now, after a while of being his assistant, 
this is when Kanye West started, you know, sending her these pictures and these videos and things like that. And that's when things started to change in their relationship. However, she never say anything about them actually having sex. She just saying that, hey, you know, this man was harassing her about sex. So, I mean, that is clear according to the reports. Now, she did say Kanye West used to call her on the telephone and then he would be, um, for lack of better words, uh, get money as we used to call it in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was pleasuring himself to her voice while he's talking to her, right? Now, I, I got to keep it 100. I'm talking about like if I was on the phone with somebody and they was pleasuring themselves to me and I did not like that, I'm hanging up the phone, right? I mean, we don't have to talk. You know, you on the phone doing some crazy stuff. I got to hang up. That's my way to escape. All I got to do is hang up. But I guess she didn't. She stayed on the phone. While Kanye West, you know, completed his mission, she was on the phone with him the whole time. According to the lawsuit, during their business relationship, Kanye West sent her videos of him making love lotion with a model. He sent her uh, numerous photos, sexually explicit, numerous texts, sexually explicit. I'm talking about, man, this man right here was talking about his, uh, check it out. Man, come on, bro. Like, I'm, I mean, come on. Damn, bro. Like, is that deep? Like, come on, man. This this right here is just... These guys right here. But now, okay. Now, the business relationship is about to end because Kanye West must have felt in his mind, like, look, you ain't knowing what I want you to do. I'm finna cut you. I'm, I'm cutting all ties. He was going to pay her 3 to $4 million, you know, the severance fee, uh, severance fee from the contract. And she agreed to that 3 to $4 million. Kanye West ain't give it to her. No, uh-uh. You ain't give me what I really wanted. I'm not paying you no three to four million, right? Now, all of a sudden, listen to me, y'all. Now, after him not paying that severance free for that three to four million, all of a sudden, Kanye West was sexually harassing her. Now, the years before that, when he was sending her all that sexual stuff and all that, and paying her that million dollars a year and all that old type of stuff, it was no problem. You know, she probably ain't like the sexually explicit stuff, but it wasn't enough to say, hey, you know what, I'm filing a sexual harassment on, on this guy, like he said. But when he got to playing with that money, oh yeah, no, nah, uh-uh. You ain't finna play with a woman money, bruh. You not finna do that. And then you just gonna cut her off, made her, I'm talking about, man, you made her cut off her source of income, her OnlyFans account where she was making a million dollars a year? You made her do that with the promise of paying her a million? No, uh-uh. No, 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 come on, that's bad business. Now, I mean, allow me to say this right here. Uh, I believe that, you know, the sexual stuff, she didn't mind. She probably ignored it. Like, man, this dude right here crazy, man. I don't know what's wrong with him, but keep hitting my hand, though. And when he stopped hitting her hand, she, oh, okay, hold on. No. Is she wrong for doing that? No, she's not wrong for doing that. Why? Because here it is. You made her shut down her income, her, her money stream, OnlyFans. And then now you're going to just cut her off and be like, no, I ain't paying you no money. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. And everything that she lay out on you, you understand what I'm saying? It's, look, you deserve it. Because here it is, you trying to dog somebody. You, you done made this woman shut her money stream off to come deal with you. And now you want to run off because you just be going through your little thing. No, it don't work like that, bro. So now you being held accountable, Kanye West. Like I said before, the cold-blooded part about all this, though, Kanye, 
is that this demonstration right here, because you did not hit this woman's hand, you want to be greedy, you don't want to pay nobody for their services. This demonstration right here could possibly open up the floodgates to all the other sexual harassment lawsuits that are on the way. And not only that, some might even be a little bit harsher than sexual harassment. This is hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Allow me to give a shout out to RSP373 for the $5 super thanks. Thank you. Uh, Morales Mix for the $8 cash app. Thank you. Uh, Carter for the $25 cash app. Thank you. And David Texter, Texeda for the $10 cash app. This is hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love. And y'all take care of yourself out there.